Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Iraqi Dinar. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates and exciting videos. Today, let's dive into the latest updates on the IQD and VND, and some important news that's buzzing right now. First up, the situation at the US Embassy in Baghdad a thousands of protesters are trying to storm the embassy. This is a major concern, especially for us as Iraqi dinar holders. Why? Well, the last thing anyone wants is for Iraq to face more instability, which could definitely have an impact on the currency's progress. Let's hope for a peaceful resolution and pray for the safety of all personnel involved. Now, shifting gears to something that will lift our spirits. According to Intel Group Frank 26, Iraqi citizens are being told about imminent changes to their currency on a daily basis. This is huge. We've been waiting years to hear words like these, and now it's happening almost every day. The excitement is real, and this momentum shows that major developments and monetary reform are being sent directly to the people by Iraq's leadership. It feels like we're on the brink of something incredible. Let's also talk about how some Iraqi citizens are holding on to their savings in dollars to protect against fluctuations in the dinar. But no worry so the central bank is stepping up to ensure the availability of dollars, with exchange companies playing a key role. These companies provide a smooth and regulated process to exchange dinars for dollars charging a small commission, all overseen by the central bank. Exchange companies bring both positives and negatives to the Iraqi economy. On the plus side, they help stabilize exchange rates and support businesses needing foreign currency for trade. This is crucial for Iraq's economy, which depends heavily on imports. They also make it easy for citizens to get dollars for travel boosting international movement. But on the downside, if exchange companies don't follow central bank regulations or like overcharging commissions or it can undermine the currency market and push people toward the black market. That's why strict adherence to these rules is essential for keeping everything in balance. Otherwise, we risk creating economic inequalities and distorting the official exchange rates. The central bank's regulation of these companies is a vital part of Iraq's financial system. As Iraq continues to navigate its complex economic challenges, exchange houses will remain an important element but they need to be closely monitored to ensure they keep contributing positively to the economy. That's all for today. What do you guys think about the current developments in Iraq? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, like, share, and subscribe for more updates. See you next time.